hope you can see this all right. These are the fire starters that I was telling you about down at the rainy camp. Now, as you can see, it says 100% sawdust and wax. All right. Okay for your home fire, campfires, chimneys, barbecues, blah, 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 blah. Uh, product of Canada. Now, I'm sure you'll be able to get something similar to this elsewhere because almost nowhere makes things on their own. So these things are available at the local dollar store. There are 12 what they call cubes in a pack. They cost a dollar. They're in this uh, cellophane wrapping which is pretty waterproof but the fact that they are themselves wax means that they themselves are pretty waterproof. Now, once again we do the one-handed opening, it's always fun. Here we go, right. This is what they look like. Yes, compressed waxed sawdust. Now, no muck comes off of them. They are very, very clean. You don't get a residue on your hands, okay? You, uh, you don't get a residue in your pocket. And if you keep them either in their wrapper or in um, a piece of Ziploc bag or a piece of foil or whatever you want to use, okay, these things, uh, and I've tested it, they stay combustible for ages. I left the packet open in the sunlight, uh, out and about, just to see how well they'd last if they weren't in their packet. And these things, they just carry on working. Now, they come in a block. The block itself is divided into four. And all you do is, you break a section off. Now, that leaves you with a nice raggedy edge, which will take a spark. That's how well they light. If you want it um, even more raggedy, you can just peel it up. It's like, um, well, it's like paper, really. But it does actually work very well and it will take a spark very well but to demonstrate that I won't bother with a, a spark um, you know I'll just show you this okay now here we go so there it is it's a very controlled flame you can hold it in your hand while you place it in your fire okay like I said, they're very, very good. They burn, one block will burn for, I think I timed one at over 20 minutes. And look at the flame it's putting out. You see, now if you want to start your fire and then reuse the block, all you've got to do, <laughs> blow it out. Now you see the size of the flame and how much actually burnt. You see? So if you want to use these like a big fat wood match, you light it, You've got a huge flame to light your fire, then you can blow it out and put it back in your pack, and you can get weeks and weeks of use out of one block. Now, bearing in mind, you get uh, 12 blocks per pack. Even if you used one of these per fire, which you really don't need, because like I said, they burn for a very long time, and they are fantastic pieces of kit. You could light 12 fires, without any problem at all in, as you've seen, all weathers, because I've just been out in the rain doing this, and these things will last so well that you can light uh, fire in the rain. So, if you want to add a pack of these, one pack is going to last you a very long time. They don't weigh much, a couple of ounces. I mean, what really is that in the, in the scheme of things? It's not a lot, is it? So, you can go and get these. I'm sure they're available in other places like the pound shop or something like that. But uh, look for something similar. It's compressed sawdust with wax. Saves all that bother of making them yourself, although that's a lot of fun. But uh, when you think of the amount of either gas or electricity you're going to use melting the wax and finding the wax and the time you're going to use doing it, this is actually the cheapest way that I have found of carrying a ready-made fire lighter and you see that little bit I broke off earlier okay that itself will light a fire it's small enough uh, that you can put it down add little twiglets to it and get it going these things are amazing they've almost completely changed the way that I uh, light my fires now 
I use one of these almost all the time, but I still do the original bushcrafty thing with the birch bark or the uh, the straw and the spark, all that sort of thing. But nine times out of ten, even the fire in the house, the uh, wood stove, I will use one of these and uh, these things work great. So that was my tip, my top tip of the day. There they are. Okay, fire lighters. You will find them in other places, I'm sure. But if you're out there, if you're in the North America, you should be able to find these quite easily. But I'm pretty sure they'll turn up in the uh, pound shops as well. Well, there you go. I said I was going to give you a brief tip on the uh, new fire lighting way. And there, you, there it is. Cheers, guys. Bye now.